So here's here's the two one of the, one of the two interesting caps we have. This this is again a Zork. Now this but this is a Zork uh, in a pretty popular wine. I mean you see the, this wine around at different places called Plungerhead, which has got that funny label on it. Mm -hmm. Wine is really good from Cabernet. It's a low diet Cabernet, but <clears throat> they went you know full full production in the Zork, which is that Australian closure. And this is made by the people in the Sebastiani family, which is kind of interesting because in the limited ah. series, we have a Sebastiani wine, which is no longer owned by the Sebastiani. Wait a minute. Did, uh, was Elise Fitch a Sebastiani, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, because yeah. they use a Zork over there, too. That's right. And, and, and that has no bearing on the bad guy in Toy Story 2, by the way, in case you were wondering, <laughs> which was also named Zork. Or was it Zorn? I don't know. No, that's an accident. I don't know. I spent two days at Disneyland. I should know that by now. Two days. Wow. Isn't that just a full mouthful of Cabernet? I, I forgot just, how good that is. I mean, it's incredible. And it's clearly Lodi. It's got that wonderful, dense, dark fruit. I don't know, man. I'm telling you, these Lodi wines are just, they're like on another planet. I mean, it's starting to get difficult to write about Lodi because we got so many Lodi wines, and then you taste them, and you go, what's the point? Why would you have something else? This actually wants you to taste it again. There's so much activity. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. It just And the balance gorgeous. of the oak is perfect. This is it is. It's really amazing wine. But, you know, if you told me this came from Sonoma, I wouldn't say, oh, no, yeah. it can't be Sonoma. Mm -hmm. Napa, maybe not. You're missing that earth licorice component that, that's very, very uh, pronounced in most wow. Napa wines. But that soft, rich... Cabernet fruit. You, should, you, know? you, you folks, you give this to a friend, a wine friend, a guy that really thinks they know about wine, and you pour this, they're going to flip over it. The oak balance is perfect. It's got some new oak in it. The beauty about this wine is it's wow. got beginning, middle, finish. It, it does. Goes, it goes all the way through. There's no spikes. It's just... I'm going to say 96 I'm, and it's I'm, $16 on the shelf. It's, you'll see it at different price ranges, but around 16 bucks. It's a pretty popular wine in some, in some of the more eclectic wine shops. But you can get more from us at 79. You cannot find that price anywhere. No, I'm giving it a 96 as well. I think yeah. it's killer.